Hi everyone. So this is a continuation of the last video. I mean, it's kind of a separate message, so you can either just watch that one or watch this one or both. It, they don't they don't have to go together. But I was getting a, a whole other message I know was going to go off into a kind of a separate category. So I wanted to just start another video and just take these few cards from that last reading and start off with them since I saw where that was starting to go. But the last reading I did, I was basically the the main theme of that reading was I was getting that somebody is having um could even be a psychosis uh anxiety insomnia like they're just really in their head they're really um they've really been opposed to making any kind of life changes their spirit guides are really working heavily with them right now but they're really they just just a really chaotic energy they just have a lot of uh traumas coming up a lot of emotions coming up a suppressed side of themselves that's that's coming up they're just really in their head right now really going through it they've kind of done it to themselves though and the more they fight these changes the more they fight their higher self and their spirit guides and these other aspects of their personality the harder it's going to be for them but in that last reading that I did um I was basically getting that they're kind of panicking right now because they know that you're about done. They know that you're, they know they have to choose you or lose you is I think the, the title of that reading. Some of them, I was also getting, some of them are wanting to message you and, and make some kind of offer to, to get on the same page and work together finally, which I was saying, I think you will be receptive just as long as they actually come through and make some sort of effort and show you appreciation and that they care about you. Um, anyway, then I started getting this separate message where it kind of seems like that that's where I left off at with the Empress, the Son of Swords, the Five of Wands. It's almost like this woman is stepping into her power and this man doesn't like it. Like he doesn't trust it. Tell me more about this justice yeah it's divine justice it is divine justice that she receive abundance money love success good things this is a divine justice but i almost feel like tell me more about this man not trusting this woman becoming the empress the empress is all four queens combined the empress is all four queens combined she is incredibly powerful but yeah, I just kept channeling that energy. It's like you're becoming the empress. You're stepping into your power. He doesn't like it though. Especially because he's insecure and he sees you as above him, sadly. Which you never saw him like that. I mean, you saw him as an equal. You saw him as the man that you love, the man that you wanted to spend your life with. So it was. it's like his own perception that he was just... And that was his own thing. You know, It was his own perception of himself. That wasn't how you saw him. You didn't see him in a negative light. I mean, you might now, I think, I think now after all the pain he's caused, you, you might see him in a negative light to an extent, but anyway, five of swords, ace of swords, six of swords. Hmm. I think he's just being forced to take accountability. Five of swords is like conflict. miscommunication conflict I think oh I, I see what it's trying to say now he doesn't like that you're in the empress energy because that means if he wants to be with you he has to step up and be the emperor he has to step up and take accountability he has to express emotion he has to make you the empress is like I said all four queens combined she knows her worth she knows her power She's not going to settle for breadcrumbs. She's not going to settle for somebody that's in and out, hot and cold, only wants her when they're bored and lonely. She's not dealing with any of that. And that's what this man doesn't like, is that you're not willing to deal with, with just the breadcrumbs anymore. You're not accepting that in the past. Like in the past, I feel like you just loved him so much that it's like you just, you made excuses for him. Yeah, so what he doesn't like about it is that he knows he's going to have to be the King of Cups. The King of Cups is more mature, emotional, um, emotionally available. He knows now because of your energy, he feels this energy shift in you. And he knows that he's going to have to come forward as a King of Cups. He's going to, if he wants you to be the Queen of Cups, if he wants you to be in this emotional, vulnerable energy, he's going to have to be the one to set the example 
and be emotional first and be vulnerable first, and then you'll match that energy. You're not going to be vulnerable unless he gives you a, a good reason to be, unless he gives you a safe space to be vulnerable. And that's what he doesn't like because I think in the past, you were the one that was always vulnerable, always emotional, giving him the safe space to be vulnerable, but he never really gave you a safe space in return to be vulnerable. So now you're more guarded and you're more powerful. Um, and so he knows that he liked it. It's, I don't want to say that this man doesn't like being a real man. That sounds kind of harsh, but it's, it's almost like he doesn't really want to be in daddy energy, kind of like he wants, it's like you used to be, this woman used to have to be daddy and he liked that. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, he liked when she was the one making the effort and doing the pursuing. He liked that. It's, it's, it's kind of, which probably turned her off a lot. Like the empress wants an emperor. She doesn't, you know, she wants somebody that's in that, da the emperor is like daddy energy. She wants somebody that's in that daddy energy. That's, you know, assertive and goes after what they want and brave, you know what I mean? And, and vulnerable and emotional and honest. Like that's the kind of guy she likes. She does not like having to be the strong one all the time. Uh, but but yeah, I feel like this man liked you being the strong one all the time. He liked you being the one to set the example. He liked you. He liked it when you were the one that made the effort. He liked it when you were, you were the one that does the pursuing. And with you being in your empress energy now, now he knows that this kind of goes hand in hand with that reading that I was getting the other day where I was saying like, he's not sabotaging anymore because he knows he doesn't have the option to sabotage. Like he's already sabotaged it or he's already, he knows one little thing and she's just going to tell him to F off. You know what I mean? Like he knows that she's at that point. She's at that breaking point with him where she probably doesn't trust him anymore. And he already has a lot of work to do to be able to get her trust back. So, and that goes hand in hand with the last reading too, where it's like, he knows he has a choice to make. There's no more messing around. He knows that he has to choose between, you know, true love and abundance and really making the effort or if, you know, or she's going to be done. She's not, she's not waiting. She's already done waiting. For some of these women, you're actually open to new love, even if you haven't met anybody yet. For some, you're, you're actually at this point where you're just like, either he's going to show me something or someone else is gonna do all the thing yeah and she got to all she went she went through a world of pain to get to that breaking point like he probably doesn't even have a clue just how much pain she went through over him and just how much she really loved him and how much she was you know loyal and supportive of him he probably doesn't even have a clue just how she felt the whole time but yeah, anyway, so he knows that he has to, he, yeah, that's what he doesn't like is he knows he has to be the king of cups. If he wants this conflict, because you're not willing to be daddy anymore, you're not going to be in the masculine role for him anymore. You're not going to do the work for both, you're not going to take on both roles of this relationship for him anymore. You're not doing that. He knows he has to step up and make the effort and be assertive if he wants this. If he wants, if he has any hope of reconciling with you, he knows he has to act. He knows he has to be emotionally available with you. He knows if he wants to get through this conflict with you, there needs to be honesty, truth, and clarity on his end, that there needs to be communication. This is communication too. If he wants this relationship to, to go from rough waters to calmer waters, and you see how the man is in control too, like she's resting. This, this empress is, she might be powerful, but she's tired too. You know what I mean? Like she's, yeah, she's strong. She's powerful. She's beautiful, whatever. But she's also broken and exhausted and resting. You know, she's, look at her right there. She's just like, she's like, I'm not rowing this fucking boat with you anymore. I've done, I've, I've been rowing this boat the last hundred fucking miles. It's your turn. You row, you row this boat or we can stay here and sink. I don't give a shit anymore. Like I'm not, I'm not rowing this damn boat with you. I'm resting now. I am exhausted. You have put me through it. You have ripped my heart out over and over again. I am resting right here. You want this to go anywhere. You're going to have to step up, man up, take control and, and move us from rough waters to calmer waters. But yeah, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that you're not taking on the masculine role anymore in this relationship. He doesn't like that he knows he has to do that now. He has to be the one to to communicate, to make effort, to pursue you if he wants us to go anywhere. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about how he's feeling. 
Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, he does want to build something here. Page of Swords, Nine of Wands. Someone might have gotten in his head and made him think this was going to be a battle, but honestly, even... I think you're also at that point where you're like, you know what? Like, if he loves me, he's going to pursue me. It's not going to matter what people say or what kind of fears he has or insecurities or ego. She knows that if he really loves her, he's going to prove it. He's going to step up. He's going to make an effort. He's going to build something here with her. He's going to build a solid foundation. So even if people were getting in his head and making him doubt, or even if he was getting in his own head, this could also just be him just getting in his own head and, and doubting himself. But he no, like she's not babying him anymore. She's like, you know what, what whatever insecurity you're, you're feeling, whatever ego issues going on here, if you love me, you're going to come through. You're going to step up and you're going to show him you love me. And if you don't, then I know you don't love me. You know, it's that simple. Yeah, she's standing her ground. She's the high priestess. She knows all, even if she doesn't say it. She's standing her ground. Yeah, wheel of fortune. The wheel's turning for good or bad. It's up to him. Tell me more about how this, so we, so that was a look into more like how he, how she's feeling, you know, she's like, you know, either you're coming to get me, if you're coming to get me, then I'm open. But if you're not doing anything, then I'm done. You know, if you love me, you'll show me. She's gone through a world of pain to get to this point. You know, he's really lost her trust. He's really lost a lot of her faith. So he's going to have to put the work in and make the effort. But yeah, he's not liking that. He's not liking that. She's not, you know, taking all, all the way to this relationship anymore. But anyway, tell me more about how he's feeling. How is he? And I think this also is about how he's feeling, how he's seeing her. He's aware of this. You know, he's aware that she's in this energy, that she's taking her power back, that she's, you know, the tables have turned. He's aware that he's going to have to make this effort. And it's kind of like, it's like he just thought he could just sabotage forever and she would keep being patient with him and it's it's not going down like that anymore and now he's kind of angry about it tell me more about how he's feeling yeah he's isolating right now i think he's daydreaming too about ten of pentacles the moon the sun it's really interesting the moon and the sun because the moon is often about things that are like hidden and then like the sun is about like you know like happiness warmth light but things coming to light so it's like things that are hidden are coming to light I feel like his emotions are coming to light too I feel like in this hermit energy he's just realizing I feel like he took her for granted and now he's realizing that he actually does really love her and want this stable foundation with her queen of cups he wants her yeah he wants her to be the queen of cups again and he's having anxiety about that because he knows that he's the reason. She's not being the Queen of Cups with him. He left her. He abandoned her. He wasn't there for her when she was going through it. He left her out in the cold. He Maybe when she was dealing with, you know, her own issues, he just wasn't there for her. He just abandoned her, neglected her, maybe ghosted her, maybe didn't communicate for a long period of time. Like, he knows that he did this. He knows that he's the reason why... She's not being the queen of cups because he cared so much more about his image and his ego than he did about her feelings. So now the tables have turned. And now when she was, she was the one that was depressed and anxious and just longing for him and crying out for him and just wanting just to be with him, just to have him by her side. And now the tables have turned and he's the one in this energy. And she's like, she might be in this energy a little bit where she still loves him and misses him, but she doesn't trust him anymore. Yeah, she's the queen of swords now. Hanged man. New perspective. This new perspective, whatever, yeah. Because she felt, yeah, betrayed. Maybe third parties or just something. Like, Ten of Swords is, like, rock bottom. Like, this man really just, like, mentally, emotionally, he really, like, he doesn't even know how much pain he caused her for her to get to this Queen of Swords energy. She had this perspective shift where she's like, I don't trust you anymore. You've shown me that you just see relationships as some kind of game. Whenever I'm vulnerable and gentle and loving with you and cuddly, you're just going to neglect me and push me away and take me for granted. So you know what? You don't want the Queen of Cups? Fine, you get the Queen of Swords. I'm not going to be open with you. Yeah. She's keeping her feelings to herself. She doesn't trust him anymore. 
she doesn't trust, like, she doesn't feel safe being vulnerable with him. She feels like it just always leads to heartbreak. Like, he just always takes her for granted and always does the same shit again and again. But, yeah, like, I kept getting that energy. It's like, like, he feels like you're stepping into your power and he doesn't like it because now he knows the ball is in his court. Because in the past, I feel like, I feel like you might have pulled your energy back a little bit, but not to this extent. You know what I mean? It might have been like, okay, like you might have been a little bit fed up, but I think he knew that deep down he could get away with more shit and that you would put up with it because you loved him so much. Like you loved him so, so deeply. Like you might have seen him at one point as the love of your life. And, um, yeah, it's like he doesn't like this energy shift because he now he knows it's like, it's like he's scared. He's like, oh shit, she's really, she's not messing around anymore. She's the queen of swords. She's the empress now. She's the high priestess. Like she's, she's, she's not messing around anymore. He wanted, he thought you, he was hoping you would just easily go back to being a queen of cups without him having to do any work on his end. Just, you know, just thought you'd be naive. And I think he's also coming to this realization that you were never naive. Like the high priestess knows everything, even if she doesn't speak on it, she still observes and she takes notes. And that might that high priestess energy might be part of why you're in the Queen of Swords now energy now because you're like, I've I've seen enough. Like I've seen a lot of you know, this person has shown me again and again and again that they don't want to change, that they they want to they're gonna do the same shit to me over and over again. Like he was kind of just hoping. You would just kind of, you know, smoothly go back to being Queen of Cups. You guys could sweep it all under the rug. He could just come in and out as he pleases whenever he's bored and lonely. Just keep taking you for granted. Entertain third parties on the side for some of you. No. Hell no. Hell no. But yeah, now you're keeping your emotions to yourself. Even if you do miss him, even if you do still love him, you're not, you're not saying it. You're keeping it to yourself. You don't trust him. You, you, you feel like he'll just, you know, you, you don't, you don't trust him. You don't, you don't feel safe being vulnerable with him anymore. You feel like it just leads to pain. Ten of swords is like, ten of swords, three of swords energy is like the worst pain. It's like, it's that like, just like depressed in bed all day. Like you just like rock bottom pain. You know what I mean? Like this man really did a number on you. Like he probably doesn't even know the extent of it, honestly. But anyway... Yeah, he's he's really not not too thrilled that he has to be the that he has to be daddy now if he wants this to go somewhere. I think he's aware how turned off you are too by like you had to be the daddy in the past in this connection. <laughs> and I hope that language like makes sense to you guys. If it's not making sense, I'll reword it. But it's it's almost like you had to like be and, and don't get me wrong, like feminine energy is just as strong as masculine energy. Like I don't, you know, don't get caught up on that. You know, feminine energy is very powerful, but feminine energy is still more like she's powerful, but she's loving and receptive, whereas masculine energy is more like protective, assertive, like take charge, you know, um, and everyone has to have a balance of like both energies. But in general, like in this relationship, you would have preferred to be in the feminine role. You, you like men that pursue you. You like men that are emotionally available. You might have made an exception for this person, but in general, you're turned off by this kind of energy. Like you don't like this shit. You just dealt with it because you loved them so much as a person, you know, but with anybody else, you probably would not have gone through all this bullshit with anybody else. You wouldn't have done this for anybody but them, honestly, because I think you were turned off the whole time. You did not, you, you want to be in the, fem this, this woman wants to be in the feminine energy. She wants to be in a feminine receptive role. She wants to be able to be gentle and be cuddly and be taken care of and be loved. And I think she's just at that point where she's so turned off by having to have been like the daddy in the daddy energy and take on both, both roles in this relationship for so long. And like I said, it's like, he knows that he knows that she's turned off by that. He knows that she's not willing to do that anymore, that, that he's going to have to step up and be the, in the daddy energy and be in that masculine role if he wants anything to happen with her. Um, yeah, four of swords. How else is he feeling about this? Four of swords, knight of... Yeah, he's going to have epiphanies and he's going to want to come forward quickly giving you this love offer. Seven of... Why the seven of cups, though, is... Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. 
Knight of, oh God. Ugh, what a dumbass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say it's not very professional of me. Okay. So son of cups is all about somebody who's like, it's like they want to run in and give you this love offer. Ace of cups. Southern of cups is about um, like illusion, multiple options. So this man is like, do I want to be single? Do I want true love with this person? Do I want to be a fuck boy? Do I want to be like a stubborn, cold guarded king of swords? Like, do I want to like, what do I want to do? Like, what if, like, there's so many different options. The thing is, though, this empress is not an option. She's, she's the only choice. And if he doesn't recognize that, she's going to be done and she's going to go be with somebody else. The thing is, too, I feel like she, I feel like this woman only wanted him. I feel like the whole time she was like, it's him or it's nobody for me. Like, this is my person. I love them. She was very deeply loyal to this person. And the whole time he might have had third parties or he might have always been kind of wondering what else is out there. And I think that that energy has gotten her to that point where she's like, you know what, maybe I should do the same. Maybe I should see if there's men out there that are in that emperor energy already that will just take care of me and, and be providers and protectors and, you know, pursue me and, um, and support me emotionally and mentally in ways that this other person didn't, you know what I mean? Like, he, he made a pretty, pretty big mistake wanting to explore his options because now she's considering exploring her options. She's like, well, you know, maybe, maybe I should do the same. But yeah, it's like he's wanting to come through and then he gets in his head and he gets stuck in all these different like, like he gets caught up in all these different options. But yeah, he really doesn't like that you're in your power. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about him not... Give me more details on. He doesn't like that you're in your power. Why? Tell me more about that. Yeah, again, because you're the queen of swords. He wanted to be able to leave you out in the cold and hurt you, and he doesn't like it when the tables have turned and you're the one with the power. So then of wands. He's also intimidated by you, but it's like, it's, it's kind of on him that you're in this queen of swords energy to begin with. He's given you reason to be in this queen of swords energy. You would be in the Queen of Cups energy if he gave you reason to be in the Queen of Cups energy. If he gave you a safe space where you felt appreciated, seen, loved, supported. You know, if it was safe being vulnerable, you would be the Queen of Cups. You're probably naturally more the Queen of Cups type. Yeah, a lot of them still want to juggle. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I thought you guys could see that. <laughs> and I think because, you know, the question I was asking is like, why do they not like you being the Empress? And this is what we're getting here. It's like they don't like you being in that energy and in, in your power because then they know they can't juggle. They can't juggle third parties. They can't choose between you and, you know, this person. I'm hearing like Erica. I don't know. That might be for somebody. But I'm hearing the name Erica. But they're like, I can't choose between like you know, oh, sorry, <laughs> I can't choose between you and this person or this person or this person or being single or being prideful and stubborn and sabotaging and, and not being with anybody. You know what I mean? Like they, they can't, they don't have those options now. They're very much aware, like they can't have their cake and eat it too anymore, basically. And they're upset about that. They're not happy about that. Because they're like, they're recognizing that if they keep juggling, you're just going to be gone. Like, they're going to come back, you know, down the road and you're going to be like, nope. Like, they know that they have to do something now if they want to keep you. And I mean, for some of you, maybe you would give them a chance months down the line. Who's to say that you wouldn't? But I'm, I'm for most of you, I'm getting that you probably wouldn't. Because I also do feel that energy of new love where if this person's not doing anything, your spirit guides are going to bring somebody else in. They're going to bring another man in that is willing to do all the things that this guy didn't do. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like they thought you they thought they had you right under their thumb. They thought that they were playing you. They thought that they had this control over you. They thought and again, that's big part of why you're the queen of swords because you recognize this. You recognize that it's it was just always the same shit with this person. 
But yeah, they thought that they could just leave you on the shelf, come back when they're bored and lonely, that you would just always be there, you know, old, reliable, pretty much. Um, they thought they could go have fun and explore their options and maybe settle down with you. Even if they love you, they figured they could go have fun and kind of do their own thing and explore their options and then maybe come back and settle down with you when they're ready for commitment. You know what I mean? Like go have fun with karmics, go mess around and then once you're, um, you know, once, once they're ready for something solid, maybe come back to you and they just figured you'd always be there to pick up the pieces, which is why you're not vulnerable. That's a big part of why you're not vulnerable with this person anymore, why you're not open with them anymore. You saw that, you saw through that energy, you realize that the more vulnerable you were, the more that they would take you for granted and play games. But yeah, they're pissed about it. They don't they don't like that they don't have those options anymore that they can't just, you know, juggle you and, and somebody else or juggle you in the desire to be single or whatever else it might be. They they can't you took away their ability to play games. You called them out, you saw through them, you took away their ability to sabotage you because like I said, you're you're they don't have the op option of sabotaging with you anymore. If they keep sabotaging, they're gonna sabotage it for good. You're at that point, you're just like, nope done not doing it even at this point they would still have to make quite a bit of effort to really get back in your energy they would have to really show you something but each day that goes by the more distant you get from this person i think honestly hmm. tell me more about what they don't like about you being the empress Moon, Four of Wands, Page of Swords. Tell me more about this. Hanged Man, New Perspective, Two of Wands. Hmm. I'm going to pause this to look at this for a second. What I'm getting from this, they also... Not only can they not sabotage with you anymore, but they can't sabotage this connection with themselves anymore, which is also really pissing them off or upsetting them. I don't know if it's like, it's a weird energy I get. It's kind of anger, I guess, but it's like a frustration. Like it's almost like, it's like with the moon, the moon is about like hit things being hidden. You know what I mean? It can be about like illusion, but it's also like things like hidden being revealed and like 10 of cups is what's being revealed, which is like true love, family, happiness, you know, just 10 cups, just like, just, you know, love. Four of wands is like twin flames, soulmates. Page of swords could be like a message, communication. So I think it's like you really just switched up on them. Like I was saying, it's like you just, you, they thought they were going to, they, they almost had like a plan in place. Like, I'm going to play these games. I got everything under control. And you just pulled the rug right out from under them when you're like, nope, bye. You want to do that? Go do that with another karmic. I am not an option. You want to go explore your options? Cool, go do it. I'm going to do the same. Like, you you were strong. You didn't even care how heartbroken you were at that point. You were like, screw this. I don't trust you anymore. You know what I mean? Like, you pulled your energy back. If they gave you that hot and cold in and out, like, oh, I'll be here when I want to be energy, like, I'm just going to kind of do my own thing, like, maybe I'll make time for you, maybe I won't, you nip that in the bud and you're like, nope, mm -mm. you're consistent or you're not in my life, plain and simple. So your, your energy, basically your energy gave them an ultimatum. You might not have even said anything. You didn't even have to say it. Your energy just switched. You just stopped making effort. You stopped trying and they felt that energy shift. They, they feel that you're not in bed all day crying over them anymore. You're not, you're not crying out for them. You're not, you're not, you used to be so deeply vulnerable with this person, even behind the scenes. And you're, you're, you're not vulnerable like that anymore. You're not, even if you do still cry over them, you, you, it's like in a different way where it's like, you just, you don't, you, you feel like protective of yourself now. Like you don't trust them anymore. You know what I mean? Like he used to see, used to want this person to be like your protector, like daddy energy provider type. And they showed you again and again and again that they just were not trying to be in that energy for you. And now it's like, 
So now it's like your energy doesn't expect that from them anymore. You know what I mean? Where it's like he used to energetically, you used to cry out for this man. Like your soul used to cry out for this man. Maybe even like emotionally, you might have just had like those low points where you just like miss them so much where you just like physically cried out for them and they could energetically feel you calling for them, feel you crying out for them, feel you missing them. And now they're not feeling that energy from you anymore. Um, like I said, even if you do miss them, even if you do love them, you're, you're not, um, you're not letting, you're like distracting yourself. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to go out and do things and not think about them too much. Like you're, you're trying to, you're, you're not, you're tired of the same old shit. You know what I mean? Like you're not, um, you, you don't trust them. You don't trust them anymore. Really. They haven't given you a reason to trust them, but <laughs> Yeah, and like somebody like this who just sees relationships as like a game, like a power struggle, they of course they don't like it when you're in your power because they're going to see it as a threat. They're not somebody that really loves you is going to be like, oh wow, she's in her power. Maybe I should step up and be in my power too and match her, and we can be a power couple. We can manifest, you know, abundance and happiness together. But but no, somebody who's like this, somebody who just is just going to hurt you the more you're vulnerable with them. They're they're going to see you being in your power as a threat. But anyway, sorry, what I was where I was getting with that is, yeah, the, the other thing that they don't like about you being in your power is so the moon is about things being revealed 10 of cups, four of wands, this is like this is all about emotions, true love could be like a message here, but but some basically, basically, they're, they're, um, they're not able to sabotage this with themselves. They used to sabotage it with you. Like they would sabotage this connection like directly, like through communication with you or through, you know, not just about, not just communication, but even just, you know, not talking to you, doing their own thing, body language. They used to sabotage so many direct and indirect ways with you. But they also used to sabotage this behind the scenes, just alone with themselves. They would fight with themselves on it. You know what I mean? Like if they felt these emotions, they would be like, oh, maybe it's just an illusion. Like maybe this is, you know, I don't believe in fairy tales. This is too good to be true. It couldn't be this easy. And they almost manifested that with you as well. They did. It's like they created this. Their energy is powerful. They don't even realize how strong their energy is, but they almost turned you into a queen of cups to a queen of swords because they believed in that. They believed in when you were the queen of cups, it's like they had that mentality of like, this is too easy, too good to be true. There's got to be something behind this. They, like they just sabotaged. And so, yeah, it was like a, a self-fulfilling prophecy where they eventually kind of did turn you into that queen of swords with them. You know, where it's, it's like they, they, you believed in them for a long time and they didn't believe in you. They didn't believe in the connection. And eventually they, they manifested that, that became a, that was physically manifested by this woman becoming the queen of swords with this man. But yeah, they used to sabotage with themselves. It's like, it's like they would get in their head and they would, um, how do I explain this energy? Like they would fight the connection. Like they would just fight it. They'd be like, like, yeah, too good to be true. Like I can't, um, I'm not ready for this. I want to go play the field. I want to see what else is out there. Um, what if I get hurt again? What if this? What if that? Just all this paranoia, just coming up with excuses like, oh, I'll message her next week. I'll message her next month. Not doing shit. And now it's like they can't. They know if they do that, they know if they stay in that energy that they lose you for good. They know that's what they don't like about that is that they know if they if they sabotage, like if, if they get in their head and they sabotage this, they they used to be able to do that. You know what I mean? Like they used to be able to, to behind the scenes, they could fight themselves on this. They could fight what they feel. And at the end of the day, it's like you would still be there. You would still be around. They knew that they, you would still give this a chance, that you would be patient and understanding and you would try to help them work through things and you would try to support them and help them through their traumas and help them be the person they want to be and yada, yada. Like they knew that so they could afford to sabotage. And now it's like, it's almost like they scare themselves. Like now they get in their head and they're like, like they sabotage it a little bit, like they fight themselves. But then they realize like, oh shit, if I do that, I'm losing her for good. Like she's going to be done. She's going to be with somebody else. Like I might, you know, she might start dating somebody else and I won't have a chance. Like I won't be able to come back around at that point if she is with somebody else. Like there's like this awareness where he's like, like you took away his ability to like sabotage this kind of. 
and you kind of made him, he was in denial about his feelings. And I feel like you kind of made him, you kind of forced him to, it's like he wanted to suppress these feelings or he wanted to suppress his emotional side. And now these feelings have come to the surface. He has this new perspective. And like, now he's like thinking about like the long term, like wanting like marriage or, or commitment with you or like wanting something long term with you. So it's like he doesn't like that his emotional side is out and that he can't just fight these feelings anymore. It's almost like he's angry that he loves you. It, it kind of almost feels like that. It's almost like this energy of like, like angry and frustrated because he's like, fuck this. Like I wanted to play the field or I wanted to be single. I wanted to be a player. This, this man wanted to be a player, but he wasn't very good at being a player. Like, people saw through him. He just looked stupid. Like, he just looked like a... Like, he's too old for that shit. He's not... Mm -mm, gross. Um, sorry, but no. Like, he's... You, that might work when you're a teenager, but when you get older, you you look like a dumbass being a play, player. When you get to your 30s, 40s, older, you, you, you just... You look dumb trying to play multiple women it's like you're too old for that honestly you're not it, it's one thing to do that when you're like a teenager and you're just having fun but you know all this man is going to end up doing is ruining his own reputation in the community by doing that kind of shit anyway i talk a lot of shit on this channel i'm sorry it's been worse lately just the energy i'm picking up lately i'm like oh hell no <laughs> so just bear with me guys <laughs> But yeah, it's it's like, yeah, it's like you made him, it, it's, it's such a weird thing that this man doesn't take responsibility for himself either. It's almost because I keep getting this energy where he's like, how dare she like make me feel these things? How dare she make me like want to have a relationship again? Or how dare she make me fall in love with her? Or how dare she make me like, how dare she make me like, you know, feel all these different things? How dare she change my perspective? How dare she open me up and open my heart chakra up? And it's like, this man doesn't recognize, like, if you suppress your emotional side for too long, you're, it's going to come out. Like, like it's going to, it's going to come out, you know what I mean? And maybe he never felt this way before. Maybe he didn't feel like this. Maybe it's like just, maybe this relationship is like just different. Like it's kind of unique. So maybe he just didn't expect to feel these kind of emotions or something like that. But it's just so odd how he, like, doesn't take accountability. Like, he's really, like, angry that he loves you, how, that he loves this woman. It's like they see emotions as some kind of weakness. Like, they feel, they yeah, they see emotions as weakness. It's human nature to, to be emotional. It's part of part of life. It's a normal part of life. No, no wonder this man is so out of balance with himself, suppressing such a huge part of himself. But yeah, it's like, you know, like I said, because you're not, again, you're not taking on all the weight of the relationship. So he's forced to take on his role in the relationship if he wants this. You know what I mean? Like you're not doing the work for him anymore. You're not babying him. You're not doing all the work for him. You're not pursuing, you're not being in a masculine role either, anymore either. You're not doing any of that anymore. So now it's like, yeah, like now when he does start sabotaging, he's like, oh shit, if I actually sabotage, she's really not going to be there this time. Before he's like, yeah, I could sabotage and like, whatever, I'll, I'll go, I'll go play games. I'll go, go out with other women and she'll be there at the end of the day. I know that. But now he's like, oh shit, if I sabotage this, she's not coming back. Like she's really gonna, she, she's really done. Like she's really going to go be with somebody else if I sabotage this, like, He's realizing there's like a final finality to it where he's like, oh, damn, like it's she's really over it, like or, or not over it. But like, you know, she's really done with me if, if I do this again, if I mess up again or if I if I detach or if I'm distant, if I move on or if I go do whatever, like she's really, you know, she's really done. So it's like it kind of pushes him to like have to to deal with those emotions. You know what I mean? Like he's not sabotaging this anymore because he doesn't have the option to anymore. Unless he wants to lose you for good. But yeah, it's so weird that they, that they, like, tell me more about this man feeling angry that he loves this woman. The devil. Yeah, it's like he doesn't like that he has to build. He doesn't like that. 
He doesn't like, it's almost like he doesn't like being in a masculine role. You might have met this masculine at like a low point in his life. So he just wanted like other people to do, to do the work for him or to do the pursuing. Like maybe he had given a lot to other people. And so he just wanted people to like give to him for a change. But it's like he doesn't. You're not responsible for whatever he went through in the past. Yeah, it's like he doesn't like that he has to like build. And he's afraid too. He's like, well, what if I build? What if I put all this work in and I get rejected? But that's his own fear. That's his own insecurity, his own self-sabotage. If he actually does put the work in, he's going to have success with you. But in his mind, he doesn't see that. He's like, he's like afraid. He's like, well, shit, what if I, okay, what if I step up and I'm in the masculine role and I do all this work on myself and in this connection and then, you know, I still get rejected. But it, it's not that, again, that's just his own fears. That's his own sabotage, his own fears. I don't think he recognized how much this woman loved him. Like she would have done pretty much in the past, at least she would have done anything for him. It was really like him or nobody for her. She was incredibly loyal, supportive. Like it was, she just did not want anybody else. Like she really deeply loved him. So if he were to actually put the work in and the effort, no, I don't feel like he would get rejected as long as, as, she, as he was showing her that he was, you know, taking accountability, not playing games with her, not being disloyal. If he really did make the effort, no, he wouldn't get rejected. But yeah, in his head, he thinks that he just assumes the worst. He assumes that it's like he doesn't want to have to be strong. You know what I mean? It's almost like he took a break from life and he doesn't want to have to go back to like being strong and being assertive kind of thing. Yeah, because he knows that he's not getting that Queen of Cups energy back from her unless he, unless he's working with her and building something there. Okay, this reading went on longer than I expected, but let me shuffle these and pull some more really quick. But yeah, it's so it's like they're not taking accountability, so that's like part of what we've been getting with like the bad karma, because it's like this person only considers their own feelings. They only consider their own mental health. Like this person could have completely broken you again and again. Like this person could have hurt you so much more than they realize and for no good reason. That's the thing. That's part of why the, the karma is coming in too. Because like if you did something to hurt them, that would make sense. But it's like you didn't do anything to them. You know what I mean? Like you, you might have reacted to how they were treating you. And I'm not saying you're perfect. Like there might have been certain things that you did. But like I, I'm not getting the energy that this feminine betrayed this masculine in a heavy way or anything like that. I'm getting that she, things that she did were mostly the result of his actions or inactions. Like she got to that point where, you know, she probably started out very loving and very loyal and supportive with him. And he might have given her reason not to be those things, you know, to feel like she's not safe being vulnerable with him. Like it's just going to lead to pain more, you know, over and over again. But again, take accountability. Like feminines do have to take accountability too. Like I'm sure that she might have done certain things, but... But yeah, it's like he just, he hurt you for no reason. He hurt you because of his own cowardice, his own fears, his own insecurities. Maybe projecting things that people from his past, like mother or father or exes or people from his childhood did to him onto you. Almost like he used this woman as a punching bag. Like he projected, it's like he was seeing through like a false lens, like his perception was distorted and he might have just like taken out things like if there are people from his past that hurt him a lot or betrayed him and those issues were like unresolved, he might have taken it out. It's like he saw that this woman was like gentle and loving and vulnerable. So he kind of took those issues out on her like he took out that anger and pain from past relationships onto her because she was more gentle when she allowed it. You know what I mean? Like kind of using her as a as a punching bag, kind of projecting past issues onto her. But, you know, he never considered her feelings. It was always about his feelings, his fears, his in insecurities, his mental health. You know, he, he wasn't he wasn't there for her. He wasn't considering how she felt, how what she was going through, um, what he was putting her through, you know, how she was feeling about everything, about the distance and everything else. But, yeah, that's kind of like... I mean, because I just keep getting back, going back to that, like them being angry that they love you. Like they're, they, like again, seeing emotions as like a weakness, like where they feel like this, like 
Like they wanted to play the field. They wanted to have other options. They wanted to be able to sabotage as much as they wanted to. And, and now they're kind of just upset because it's like they, that option's been taken away from them now. You know what I mean? They don't get to sabotage this if they want you in their life. They have to step up and make an effort, you know? They have to do it now if they want this. But yeah, it's, it's just so weird how they view emotions. It's almost like they feel like you, like, like, push them into their emotions. Like, you... Tell me more about that. Yeah. Judgment. They're being... The, the divine is calling judgment on them for juggling you with somebody else. Or for other, with other with being single, with, with their fears, with their ego. Whatever it was that they were allowing to block this connection, they're being judged for that. They're being... Divine is calling judgment for that. Having to move things from rough waters to calmer waters. What's the magician about? Six of wands. Three of cups. Six of cups. Yeah, I mean, if they take control, they can step into this magician role and be in this in their power, and they can have victory. They can have celebration here. They can have, you know, there's nostalgia. There's good energy going back to someone from the past. Ace of cups. It's kind of like this karmic wheel is turning and it's up to them. Is that going to be good or bad? Like things are changing one way or another, but they get to decide now. This man gets to decide, is that a bad change or a good change? Like kind of going back to that last reading, are they losing you now or are, are you guys getting on board with each other and, and working through things? You know what I mean? Like they know the ball is in their court. I feel like some of them almost feel like you... Tell me more about how they... Tell me more about this energy of them feeling angry that they love you. Yeah, because they have these wounds. Again, it goes back to like their past wounds. People that betrayed them, people that cheated, people that abandoned them. But it wasn't okay for them to take that out on you because you didn't do anything like that to them. It's almost like this person was so in their head that they didn't even stop to recognize, like, you didn't cheat on them. You didn't abandon them. They were the one that left. They were the one that entertained third parties. And then maybe eventually this woman did as well because he was. Because he was, you know what I mean? Like, if a man is like, well, I want other women, eventually she's going to be like, okay, that, you know, that's devastating. But maybe I should go explore other men, too, if you're going to do that. You know what I mean? And it's like one of those things where you're changing his perspective and he doesn't like that. And it's like eight of cups, the devil, it's like this fear of being abandoned again, you know, past issues um, from childhood or from, you know, romantic relationships or friendships where he was hurt, betrayed, abandoned. It's like he sees through that perception, through that lens of that, you know, abandonment and betrayal from his past that he didn't even recognize that the whole time you were actually loving him and supporting him and being loyal to him. Up until a certain point, at least, you were, you know. But yeah, that's part of the bad karma that he's going to get is like not taking your feelings into consideration, like thinking that he could use you as an outlet or as like a punching bag for things that people from his past did to him. Yeah, that's why the divine is going to block certain things. Yeah, and that's why you're blocked from, you You know, you're not being the queen of cups with him. It's blocked. You're not being the queen of cups if he is not giving you a reason to be. And you're not being his punching bag anymore. You're not being, you're not going to let him take it out on you. Because it's almost like, I feel like maybe he had like an ex where it was like a power struggle with this ex. Like they try to one up each other. Like they try to. I feel like maybe there was like a certain person that he was with that made him see relationships as like some kind of game that he has to win. You know what I mean? Where it's like a power struggle. They had to one up each other. And he brought that into this connection where you started out very gentle and loving and just very open to him. And then he gave you reason not to be gentle and not to be open and not to be vulnerable with him. Because he might have brought those issues into this into this connection with you. You know what I mean? Where he kept, he, it's almost like that, like it was ingrained in his head where he's like, okay, relationships are just 
a power struggle. It's just a game. I have to beat this person. Like he kept playing a game with somebody that wasn't even playing games, somebody that was just loving and open and vulnerable with him. And eventually she got to the point where she's like, fuck this. I'm not playing, I'm not playing games with you anymore. This isn't, these are my feelings. These aren't a fucking game. It's not some kind of game that you need to win to one up me. Like these are my emotions. This is genuine emotion. And so I think that's like the other issue is like he sees emotions as a weakness. So sometimes he doesn't. It's like when someone makes him feel something, he's like, how dare they make me feel something? You know what I mean? Like, how dare they put me in a vulnerable position? But, you know, that's. I don't know. So you're just getting like they're angry that they love you. Like they're upset that you've. They, they have to face their emotions now. They have to face their truth now. They have to let their emotional side in now and they're not happy about it. Yeah, because there's some kind of, let's see. Yeah, balancing things out, having some kind of new start. Is there any final messages about them seeing emotions as weakness, being angry that they love you? Page of Cups, Three of Wands, the Hierophant. Oh, shit. Yeah, again, just this fear of being left out in the cold. But it's honestly... It's it's such a screwed up energy, though, to do this to other people just because you're afraid of it being done to you. Like, it's not an excuse, you know what I mean? Even if this person has abandonment issues, like, he'd never considered that this woman might also have abandonment issues, that she might also have her own insecurities, her own fears, her own baggage from past relationships, her own heartbreak. Like, all he thought about was himself, just very selfish energy, just only thought about how he felt his fear of getting hurt, his fear of rejection, his fear of looking a certain way. It was all about him. He never considered what he was putting her through, what she was feeling, how abandoned, how alone, how fucking sad she must have felt. Like, he never thought about it. He just thought about himself. And it's like, there's still this energy where it's like, he wants to build something here, but he's like, well, what if I, what if I get left out in the cold? What if this, what if that? Like, what if this happens? It's like... <laughs> Like, wanting to be in control of things, you know what I mean? I feel like he uses distance and detachment as a way of controlling things, too. As a way of controlling you in the past, I feel like he used almost like the silent treatment or distancing himself when, when you did something he didn't like. And now it doesn't work on you anymore. He doesn't like that because you're like, okay, then you're leaving then. You're le you're not coming in and out. You're leave If you're leaving, you're leaving. That's it, you know? But yeah, there is that desire to build something here. But again, there's just that fear of being left out in the cold. But he doesn't get to hurt this woman just because he's afraid of getting hurt. She never would have hurt him, honestly. If she does end up going with another man because he doesn't step up and, and do anything in the near future, then that's that's he did that to himself. He can't blame anybody. He can't blame her or anybody else for that. He did that to her to himself. Yeah, because she got Ten of Wands. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. She could not handle any more. It was so devastating, so heartbreaking for her, all that he put her through when she became the Queen of Swords. Yep, Moon, Four of Swords. I think he's going to meditate and reflect and kind of be more become more aware of these things too, become more aware of his role in this. I'm not saying it's just all his fault 100%. Like, yeah, I'm sure she had some role in it too, but... He's going to become more aware of his part in it instead of just blaming everybody else, instead of just seeing emotions as a weakness, as some kind of game. Um, you know, because right now he's in this very toxic mentality of like, again, just being mad that he loves you. Like, how dare she make me feel these things? How dare she bring up these emotions that I was trying to suppress? How dare she call me out? How dare... You know, how dare I have to face myself? Like, how dare I be put in a position where I have to face these things I've been suppressing for so long? Um, like, just angry about these life changes. Angry about all the energy that's been coming in. Energy that's been coming in. 
Um, okay, any final messages? Sorry, this went on way. I want to do some shorter readings for you guys. I know these are really long, but let me wrap this up. about this I feel like for some, they're afraid of coming forward towards you because they feel like you're not going to be open with them again. And they feel like they don't want to look stupid, like they're going to think it's going to lead to heartbreak. Or like they don't trust it right now. Justice, King of Cups. Yeah, I think they're coming to this awareness, though, that they're going to have to just fight through that fear. You thought you fought through your fear. This woman fought through her fears. She was afraid of getting rejected again and again. And she put herself out there time and time again for him anyway. Despite how many times he rejected her, pushed her away, she still put herself out there for him. So it's his it's divine justice. It's his turn to do that. And that's the only way he's gonna keep her, honestly. That's the only way this is gonna work, is if he steps into that role. Any final messages here. Yeah, I feel like their fears are in their head. Like, you're not... I mean, you are pretty much about done with them. Like, you are sick of this shit, but, like... Yeah, cause some of them might come forward, but they're going to come forward as, like, a king of swords. Like, kind of cutthroat, kind of, like, not really in a romantic energy. Like, they're going to try, but they're almost going to be, like, bitter about it. Like, damn it, I love you, but I'm pissed that I love you. Um... But they're going to, if they try to breadcrumb you or come in with some kind of small energy, little, little small talk, you're, they're going to have a rude awakening. It's not, you're not going to, you're not going to deal with it. Yeah, truth and clarity. But like I said, if they come forward and they're actually like of integrity, you know, honest, vulnerable, really making that effort for you, I think that you will, this woman will still, at least at this point, she'll still be vulnerable and open to it if he's coming forward correctly if he's actually making that effort yeah it's like he's pissed that he has to make the effort and he's pissed that he's like he's like fuck like i'm gonna lose her if I don't come forward, so I guess I have to come forward. But it's almost like not, like he doesn't want to have to come forward. He's like, shit, I guess I have to, or if I'm going to, otherwise she's going to be done for good. Like he knows she's not, he knows she's not doing it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, there is still a fear. He like he has this fear of getting hurt. But honestly, and I think in the past she might have been more empathetic and understanding about his fear of getting hurt, but I think she's at that point where she's like so fucking what? Like I was afraid of getting hurt too and you still stabbed me in the back and hurt me again and again and again. So I don't give a shit if you're scared. If you're scared but you love me, you'll come through. You know, like she's not making excuses. She's like, if you love me, you're going to come, you're going to come get me whether you're scared or not. You're going to make, you're going to man up and come get me. 
You know, you're going to make, make sure I know how you feel. Somebody that loves you is not going to put themselves in a position to lose you. Someone that loves you is not going to, a man that really loves you is not going to put himself in a position to lose you. He's not going to play those games. But yeah, it's like they didn't want to get back in touch with their emotions. They wanted to, the tables have turned and they're not happy. You know, they wanted to stay in a certain energy and in a certain role and you took your power back and you switched everything up. So now they're like, shit, like, I don't want to put the work in, but I have to, or this person's gone. Final messages. It's really interesting too. like, I don't know, maybe it's going to be another, another reading. I don't know, because I keep getting something like, they're angry that they love you, but there's like something to that. I don't, I mean, I guess it's partially what I was saying about like the past traumas and issues that they've gone through, like they're. They didn't want to open up again and they didn't want to ever feel these kind of feelings and they're not used to these kind of feelings they are foreign to them. So it's like they're almost like they're blaming you for them. Still not taking accountability. Hmm. For some, it's almost like they don't trust this empress. Like they almost feel like she's, how to explain it? It's like they've been out of touch with their feelings for so long. They've been so emotionally detached that when they do feel things, it feels unnatural to them. Like they don't understand. It's like when they have all these emotions come up, they like don't understand what to do with them or they almost like feel afraid of them. Like they feel like it's like they're like, is it an illusion? Is something happening to me? Like is someone doing something to me? Like where are these feelings coming from? Like it's just so foreign to them. The Emperor, the Hermit, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Lovers, Four of Cups. Yeah, like they're wanting to heal this. There's just that deep fear of rejection. They know it's going to take strength. They know that they're going to have to be courageous. They're going to have to be the Emperor. They're going to have to... They're going to have to push past their fear of rejection and they're going to have to make that effort for you. Because again, they know that you're not taking any small offer. They know that for some, if you haven't talked in a while, it's like they know that you're not going to, they know they can't send you a message and just be like, what's up? You're just going to be like, um, like dot, 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 like what? <laughs> like you're not, you're not doing that. They, they owe you an apology or they need to make some kind of commitment or some kind of offer or some kind of like us, like a statement, like you know, I messed up. I'm sorry, but I really do love you. Actually, I'm sorry. I never told you, but I do love you. And I do want to work on myself and I want to work through things and I want to support you in ways that I didn't support you in the past. Like there needs to be some kind of offer or some kind of statement where they let go of their ego, where they show you some kind of vulnerability. They show you some kind of effort. They finally let you know that you're important to them. Um, they know that they have to take those steps because they know if they come in with a small offer, you're going to, you're not, you're not going to do it. You're not going to be like, yeah, I'll come in and out whenever you feel like it, whenever you're bored and lonely. That's no, you have more respect for yourself than that. They know that if they want this, they have to step up and heal things, but it looks like they do want to be strong and they do want to, I mean, it's up in the air because they're kind of conflicted. Like they are, they, they are aware of the urgency of this. They are aware that you really are finally about done with this or already done for some like for some, you've already walked away and they already are aware that like they would have to chase you and come get you back. You know what I mean? Like there's, it's different for everybody, but, but it will take strength on their end, but they, you know, but there is potential here still for this ton of cups with this person for true love, for, for happiness to be with this person. But again, only if they make the effort, only if they give you a safe space to be vulnerable, only if they, if they communicate, if they come forward if they if they really make that effort and show up for you in a different way then then you know and start healing this connection with you that's the only way they're going to have this 10 of cups with you that's the only way they're going to have that abundance with you if they come forward now but um yeah that's that's the reading i hope that helped you guys sorry that was so long i was only going to do a short one but it just kind of all came out um anyway i'm going to put, put this out there thank you guys so much for your comments so i really appreciate your comments